Welcome back. We will now go to that section of our agenda related to committee reports and action. And we will start with the budget committee. And so before you, you have the consent agenda for the budget committee items A through H. Is there any interest in, in segregating any of these or is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? It's been moved by Regent Robinson. Is there any additional board, campus, or public comment on the consent agenda for this committee? Any additional comments? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. We're now on action item A, authorization to complete research space, space at third floor interdisciplinary science building for the University of Montana. Is there a motion? So moved. Been moved by Regent Williams. Is there further conversation or debate or questions about this from board, campuses, or the public? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Action item B, authorization to enter into lease for Bitterroot College from the University of Montana. Is there a motion? So, so moved. moved. Regent Johnstone. <laughs> Moved. Is there any further conversation, debate, or questions from the board, the campuses, or the public? Any further conversation? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Action item C, authorization for approval of operating agreement between Great Falls College, MSU, and MSU Alumni Foundation. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Regent Albrecht has uh, motioned. Um, is there any further conversation? Is there any further questions from the board, from the campuses, from the public? Any further conversation? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. No. The ayes have it. And we are at action item D, authorization to name the Northern Agricultural Research Center office building uh, an item brought to us by MSU Bozeman. Is there a motion to approve? So it's been moved by Regent Sheehy. Uh, are there further questions, comments? Yes. President Cruzado. Yes, Mr. Chair, members of the board, I would like to speak in support of uh, this motion to name the Northern Agricultural Research Center after an extraordinary individual. Greg Carlson not only gave us 40 years of his life, and with it, uh, the best knowledge, uh, he was always uh, at the forefront of science in, in our uh, facility there in Haver. Um, what the 40 years also speak to, it's to an extraordinary man, a community leader, a family man, a great husband and father and an individual who was always so attentive to the needs of Haver and the High Line and of MSU in general. So by naming this uh, research center after him, I see it not only as a very important recognition, it is something that he deserves, he earned it, and in doing that our institution will write a new day, a new page in our history by recognizing an extraordinary man. Thank you, President Cruzado. I couldn't agree more. Uh, is there further conversation or comments from the board, from the campuses, or the public? Any additional conversation? Seeing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank you very much. We will now move over to the action item on ARSA committee, the Academic Research and Student Affairs Committee. And you have four consent items in front of you. Is there a motion by the board to approve these four consent items? So moved. Regent Albrecht has made a motion. Is there any further conversation by the board? by the campuses or the public? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The motion carries. That completes that committee.
we will now move to the one action item that we have for the two-year committee, the mission review for the Great Falls College MSU. Is there a motion to approve this action item? Uh, 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 Mr. Chairman, I move to accept and approve the mission okay. review from Great Falls College MSU. Mr. Kraus, thank you for that motion. Is there further conversation from the board, from the campuses, or from the public? Seeing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Thank you. And do we have anything? Oh, we do. Uh, with our staff and comp committee, uh, we have several items on the consent agenda, items A through J on the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Regent Sheehy has made a motion. Is there further conversation uh, about these items? Further conversation? Questions by anyone? Seeing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The motion carries. Thank you very much. We are now at the point in our agenda where we are at the a student appeal. We have a student appeal in front of us. You have each received, on, as a member of the board, the commissioner's decision and the written appeal with supporting documents about this student appeal submitted to us by the student. The issue before the board is solely to determine whether to hear the appeal at a later meeting. Board of Regent policy does not require the board to entertain these appeals if we are satisfied with the commissioner's review and the commissioner's decision. This appeal is confidential, so we will not be addressing the student by name or even identifying the campus involved, nor will we address the facts or the specific issues today. The sole issue today is whether any region believes the issues addressed in the commissioner's decision needs further review at the board level. If you do not wish to hear the appeal at the BOR level, it is not necessary to make a motion. A lack of action on our part will signify our decision not to hear the case. Are there any general questions as to this procedure before we go to the appeal? Okay. I will entertain a motion to hear this appeal. I will entertain a motion to hear this appeal. I will entertain a motion to hear this appeal. There being no motion to hear this appeal, the request that we entertain this appeal is denied and the commissioner's decision is upheld. Thank you. I will now open the floor to public comment from anyone about any topic uh, before the Board of Regents. Is there any public comment at this point? Public comment? I do know that we do have an announcement from Dean Bingham, uh, perhaps a couple of awards, Dean Bingham, is that correct? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, we do have a couple of awards that we would like to offer today. And again, uh, we would like to thank you. I thank the board for being here on our campus. We uh, do appreciate the opportunity to be able to interact and have great conversation. We have uh, in our uh, student affairs, um, Dean, uh, Dean uh, Stearns Sims, who is the individual on campus that keeps us at abreast of these national uh, activities that happen or these national um, um, I'm not even quite sure what to call them. <clears throat> Awards or, or activities, uh, uh, um, national days and things like that, whatever they might want to call them. She makes sure that we know that there's a great importance to those type of things that happen uh, across this nation and, and we should demonstrate our support for them. So we have uncovered in this National Cheetah Day two individuals that have some extreme Cheeto problems or maybe fetishes, you might want to call them. And so we, we thought that we would uh, recognize that and offer uh, another bag of Cheetos for their trip home. Um, so we would like to recognize uh, Regent Chihi as an individual who is, is really a, a Cheeto fan. But um, President Cruzado has gone away above and beyond the call of duty with Cheetos. And, to the point that there may need to be intervention there uh, in the future. So we'd recognize these two individuals. Dean Mingham, I, th I think those might be a fruit serving because they're so orange. They must be good for you.
Thank you, Dean Bingham, and many congratulations, President Cruzado and Regent Sheehy. We're very, very proud of both of you at this point. Um, I, do, I do have a reminder um, for the four regents who uh, have confirmation hearings this afternoon at, I believe it begins at 3 o'clock, uh, to please meet Deputy Commissioner McRae at 245 on the ground floor uh, desk of the Capitol, is that correct? Uh, on the information desk of the ground floor of the Capitol. Meet, meet him at 245, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Kevin will have Band-Aids and uh, gauze and those things. Shuffle. That's only for Regent Williams. <laughs> I would ask one more time if there is any additional public comment. Regent Williams. I just, I have a sort of a quick announcement. I'm also glad that, I'm kind of worried how come I didn't get a Cheeto award for silently opening the Cheetos bags <laughs> under the table so nobody knew I even had them. That's pretty stealthy. Um, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to put the word out here. The Montana Associated Students, they start the process finding applicants for the student regent position. And right now they're in the process of soliciting those applicants. And I just would urge each of you, you're, you, you know students, you've met students who you think would um, serve the state well serving on this board, if you could reach out to them and invite them uh, to apply for the position. I believe it's closing on March 16th. So. so uh, is is the position designated for a particular campus or is it or not? It's, there's no. It's not. So the Montana Associated Students will gather applicants from all over the Montana University system and they send a select number of those applicants forward to the governor's office and then the governor's office generally makes a decision um, based on the criteria that they have. Okay. So you. it's any. Anybody goes, you just have to be a full-time student at a Montana University System campus. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Williams. Regent Sheehy? I'm not quite sure how the process works, but in the off chance that this is Regent Krause's last meeting, and I certainly hope it's not, I just want you to know what an honor it's been to serve with you and sit next to you, and what a wonderful job you've done on behalf of the Regents. And I hope it's not your last meeting, but if it is, Godspeed. Thank you, thank you. Krause, if this isn't your last meeting, we'll applaud you again in seven years. <laughs> We, we, if indeed this is uh, Regent Krause's la last meeting, we, we certainly will have an appropriate send off for him at some point when he can, he can be here and we can embarrass him in front of everybody. So th thank you for that reminder, uh, Regent Sheehy and uh, Regent Krause, uh, on that same line, thank you for your service, if indeed this is your last meeting. Uh, yeah, thank you for those kind words and that, and that uh, very nice send off. And I will remind you that you are visiting my city here in the fall. So. Uh, there might be an opportunity for celebration and debauchery then, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Regent Krause. Um, are, there, are there additional comments? Any additional public comments? Any additional public comments? I know that we all look forward to our next Board of Regents meeting in the beautiful Flathead Valley. Um, Flathead Valley Community College will be hosting us. Uh, thank you very much, President Karras. We look forward to that very much in a couple of months. Um, one more call for public comment before we adjourn. Seeing nothing, we stand adjourned. Thank you very much.